Agra was our next destination. We set off early and took a long detour because the main road was blocked by a political demonstration. After lunch, we stopped at the nature reserve Bharatpur and then visited Fatpur Sikri before travelling on to Agra. Before dawn the next day, we went to see the sunrise at the Taj Mahal. And after breakfast, took a walk in the Taj forest. Later, we visited Agra Fort, Baby Taj and the Mentab Bhagra Gardens before returning to our hotel. We set off early in the morning drove around the old city and was soon out of town on the main highway to Agra. <laughs> Less than an hour into our journey we saw mile after mile of parked up lorries and soon had to leave the main road on a long detour around the blockage caused by the demonstrators. Away from the main road things moved at a slower pace We passed through towns and along narrow village roads. The local school children were excited to have their pictures taken. More cross-country roads. With their sheep, religious marching group and overloaded moped. The countryside, farms and small towns made the detail fascinating. We're back on the main road and after lunch drive past more parked lorries and on to the Bharatpur bird sanctuary. At Bharatpur we hired cycle rickshaws and headed for the wetlands. On the way we saw these spotted owlets, a purple sunbird, and these pythons. We've reached the man made wetlands. These were originally duck hunting grounds for the Maharajas of Bharatpur but are now the Kyo Ladeo National Park, home to hundreds of bird species and a variety of other animals. The wetlands were crowded with birds. Common teal. A comb duck. Coots, white eyed pochard, bar headed geese, white throated kingfishers, and herons. There are painted stalks on the ground and in the trees. The nest builder takes scant interest in the display below. A great egret and eagles. Spoonbills preening, a pod of pelicans, and another one 
coming in to join it. Spotted deer and cattle graze around the wetlands. We'd wished we'd had longer at Bharatpur. As we headed back to the start point, we continued to see more and more interesting birds. Goodbye to the men who took us for a ride. Right, well, thank you for giving us a ride. And off to thank our you. next destination. This is the Mughal city of Fatipur Sikri, about 40 minutes drive from Bharatpur. It was built by Emperor Akbar and was only occupied for a few years from 1571 to 1585. Its most notable building is the Jama Masjid Mosque, one of the largest in India. the tomb of Sheikh Salim Christi. The School of Medicine. The Mausoleum. The King's Gate. The Buland Dawazi Gate. We leave Fatapur Sikri Just over an hour later, we arrived at our hotel in Agra. The next morning, we got up early and walked to the Taj Mahal to see sunrise. The Southern Gateway. As we enter, the mausoleum suddenly comes into view. Despite the rain, there were large crowds. The dome-topped marble structure has an iridescent beauty against the morning sky. It's breathtaking. Its symmetry and majesty are enhanced by the gardens and the four minarets that flank it. As we walk along the southern cloister, our eyes are drawn to it. We walk down the garden. The red sandstone mosque comes into view and we see the octagonal symmetry of the mausoleum. The mosque whose archways frame the mausoleum. The Jawa, the mirror image of the mosque to the east side of the mausoleum. The surface of the mausoleum is covered in exquisite, fine, detailed work. Sandstone water pavilions are placed midway along the east and west garden walls, and the main gate is to the south. As we leave, we notice the resident monkeys doing their morning ablutions. After breakfast, we went for a walk in the Taj Forest, from which we could glimpse the Taj Mahal through the trees. This pleasantly wooded area is an oasis of tranquility in the city, just to the east of the Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. 
Later, our guide takes us to Agra Fort. We enter the 16th century fort via the Amasing Gate. A defensive sequence of moat, drawbridge, gateway, second gateway, and ramp. Inside, we come to the Jahangir Mahal, the private palace of Akbar's son. We go inside to a courtyard surrounded by rooms. The architecture is a mixture of Muslim and Hindu styles. The next courtyard lies between the summer palace, which is cooled by flowing water, and the winter palace. In the distance is the Taj Mahal, Shah Jahani Mahal, which Emperor Shah Jahan plastered and painted to make it look like marble. The next generation's palace is marble. The Rossanari Pavilion, whose arches create the optical illusion that the Taj Mahal is closer than it really is. Kas Mahal. It has a, a fountain outside and a sumptuous interior. Musaman Burj, where Shah Jahan, builder of the Taj, was imprisoned by his son. The square beside Diwan i Am, an audience hall, where the Emperor received members of the public. We head from Agra Fort to our next destination, Baby Taj. The imposing entrance is white decorated sunstone. There are further gates at the middles of the side walls and in the centre is the tomb of the Timad Ud Daula. It's the first Mughal mausoleum of white marble and is a precursor of the Taj Mahal. The marble is exquisitely decorated with semi-precious stones and windows are filled with beautifully carved marble screens. The interior, with its patterns and flowers, is even more stunning. The fourth gate leads from the mausoleum to the river. From Baby Taj we went for refreshments in a street cafe and then on to our final destination, the Metab Bagh Gardens. These are formally laid out Mughal gardens which offer great views of the Taj Mahal. I surprised these girls playing at Echoes. Foundations of the planned black Taj. And these final Hi. words from our guide. Hi. Myself, I am Vasu, I am your tour guide, Mr. James, for today. Hi. For your visit to Andhra, we are at the Mita Park. We are just across the riverside of Taj. And I am enjoying with uh, Mr. and Mrs. James. Who insisted we did this and this.